Hi Taurus and welcome to your tarot love reading here. We're going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. These messages of course are general so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here. So again these messages are intended for Taurus Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching as well. So I'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in for you here. Okay, apparently this one wanted to make its way out. You've got the Page of Pentacles, okay? Your energy here, earthly energy. Okay, that's a whole lot. We'll shuffle again. Okay, the Ace of Wands, the Lovers card here, Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and Temperance. Wow, you've got the Queen and the King of Cups, Temperance and the Lovers card. Um, so the Page of Pentacles together with the Ace of Wands here, this is interesting because I feel like there's something coming in for you here. Um, could be some sort of incoming news, some sort of incoming communication here. Um, but I feel like the communication or the news is actually communicating something very exciting. Okay, It feels like um, it's opening up doors to maybe a new possible romantic connection. It's opening up doors to um, something big, something exciting, something which feels like a new beginning or a new chapter here. Now, um, this news could be received from a younger energy because the pages are often younger. Younger, sorry. Um, it could also be someone who just has a lot of like, uh, like th they have this warmth, they have this vibrancy, they have this enthusiastic energy. This is someone who I feel like wants to share something with you. So I do feel like maybe this person wants to um, enter into a commitment with you, wants a relationship or wants to pursue a connection, wants to get to know you. Notice how the page he studies the pentacle here. So this is someone who I feel like is curious. So I feel like if you're already in a relationship with this person, this person wants to um, dive a little bit deeper. They want to explore the depths of this connection. They want to um, they want something serious and they'll prove that to you. This is someone who's after loyalty, stability, commitment. Okay, this is someone who wants to do long term, nothing short term here. Yeah. Short term short term doesn't quite satisfy this individual. Now if this is someone that is just coming new, uh, that is just entering your life and is just coming into your life here, this is someone who's very curious by you. They're very intrigued by you. They haven't quite met someone like you before. They, um, You seem to be very, you seem to have like their attention. You, you, they seem to have um, their attention focused on you here. They're very curious. They could be trying to like study about you, trying to Google search you, trying to um, see what they can find out about you. Maybe this is someone whom you're going on a first date with. This person is trying to get as much information as they can um, through maybe connecting energies or like I said through the internet like googling you, looking through your social media platforms. Someone is very curious, enticed, someone who wants to get to know you here. The ace, I do feel like this is um, an opportunity that you should say yes to. So whether it's whether you're in a romantic connection or whether you're just getting to know someone, the universe here is green lighting you. It's saying go for it. It's saying take this opportunity because it's not something that is just for the time being. I feel like this is this is an opportunity that's connected to a purpose, to a future path, to a higher calling for you here, Taurus. So. It has the potential to grow into a relationship, into an engagement, into a marriage here, or into a happily ever after here. So for a lot of you, if this is something you say no to, you could possibly be turning down um, something long term. You could possibly be turning down a wedding or a marriage or possibly even the love of your, love of your life without necessarily knowing because you've said no to an opportunity you didn't give yourself um, the chance to explore. Now the lovers card I do believe there is love that's manifesting or you've been wanting to manifest love in your life and I feel like the universe is very much hearing and responding your call. You, 
your vibration, like the universe responds to your vibrations here. And a lot of you are putting yourself in the way of love or you're very open and receptive to love. If you find that you are not, maybe this is a reminder for you to be a little bit more open, a little bit more positive, a little bit more optimistic, um, you know, saying yes to opportunities, um, putting yourself out there, being curious about love, you know. Um, so I feel like this is either a reminder or this is the universe here manifesting and putting you in the way of love. I feel like you're attracting all the right type of people, the right type of vibrations and energies and romantic connect connections into your life. There is something here that's something big that I feel like is happening in terms of love. So you could find yourself potentially falling in love with someone or someone could find themselves falling um, for you here. You could find that... Uh, there's a relationship that develops out of this first date that some of you are looking forward to quite excitedly excitedly from what I can see. Something he is something big is happening in terms of love, and I feel like it has a power to really move and transform you and your life. Now, strong water energy is coming in um, around you, or you are dealing with a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Now, with the Queen of Cups, she's very intuitive. So some of you, I feel like you need to pay a little bit more close attention to your intuition, especially, you know, you've got a good read on people um, um, I'm seeing. So I feel like some of you... You know, give this a chance because your intuition feels good about this person or your intuition, you know, um, has some sort of great feeling about this working out for you. So listen to your intuition because I feel like your, your subconscious is trying to connect with you and is trying to tell you something. He's trying to guide you here. Okay, now with the King of Cups and Temperance here, I'm getting that, you know, the King of Cups, the King of Cups, sorry, is someone who's very emotionally controlled, someone who's very emotionally balanced here, and I feel like some of you need to maybe um, be a little bit more in control with your emotions here, um, or you need to sort of tune in and uh, check in with yourself from time to time. I'm also seeing that there is something here you're going to have to be a little bit patient about here, Taurus, so... Um, what this means for some of you is maybe you've been wanting for something to happen for so long. It is manifesting for you, but maybe you feel as though it's not happening soon enough. Or maybe you want something, like you want a connection um, to happen or something to manifest to you a lot sooner. It's not that you're impatient, but I feel like it's because you really want it, understandably so, because it feels like it's very desirous. You really want this thing to work, or you really want this to happen for you, or you really want this first date, or you really want them to contact you, you really want them to call you, you really want this to, you know, to work out um, exactly the way you see it. But I feel like you need to trust that intuition, you need to trust that desire, you need to trust that want, and then put it out into the universe and let the universe work its magic. Some of you, I feel like maybe you're putting on, you're meaning you're putting too much pressure on this. And I'm not saying that it's not going to work out for you, but I feel like you have to be a little bit more patient with yourself, with your heart's desire and with the universe as well. Because there is something that's happening for you here, but sometimes our emotions can overwhelm us. And sometimes when we're so visibly emotionally overwhelmed we don't always tend to think clear like we don't always tend to make the best decisions you know our emotionally based decisions can sometimes be hasty and can sometimes lead us down a path of regret so i get that there's something that you really want to work for you and it will happen all in good time maybe it might not happen in your timeline here taurus but it will happen so just be a little bit more patient if you can just hang in there a little bit longer wait for it because something magical is happening for you there is a new beginning an entire new chapter some of you are completely turning the page um but you're just gonna have to you know keep your emotions in check here and just be just that little bit more patient okay guys that's all i have for you here thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking commenting sharing I will be sharing with you more tarot messages throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.